Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Coffee Break Q&A. My name is Michael Moret. Coffee Break Q&A is your opportunity to ask your Bible questions. I'll give you the email address at the end of the broadcast where you can send any questions that you might have. We don't have a question today, just an answer. An answer to what is on the minds of many faithful Christians. I want to start by saying the Great Commission that Jesus gave before he ascended into heaven in Matthew chapter 28 did not include a command for his church to chase the world. He said, go into all the world and preach the gospel. And we know from the book of Acts that that meant preach repentance and salvation through Jesus Christ to the entire world, to every creature. When the church starts chasing the world, historically, it tries to talk like the world and dress like the world in an attempt to attract the world. But again, Jesus never told us to chase the world, and he never told us to try to attract the world either. Jesus never told us to do either of those things, but that is exactly what started happening in evangelicalism a few decades ago, and now it has gone to levels that has made the church useless to Jesus and even an enemy of Christ, who he has spewed out of his mouth because of their lukewarmness. So the church began their slide to spiritual irrelevance by at first looking like the world and talking like the world. They didn't want to change the message of the Bible, but instead decorated in a way that would appeal to the unsaved, especially the unsaved youth. So, you know, they tried to be hip and they tried to be cool and they brought in rock music and the, and the Christian rock concerts and all these sorts of things. But to be used by Jesus, repentance and depravity and punishment and judgment and hell and the cross has to be proclaimed. No matter how hard you try to cloak it with cool, that message has to be proclaimed, and it's not a cool message. And it isn't a message that is liked by the world. So, what has evangelicalism done? Realize their mistakes? No, they've doubled down on them by changing the message. It began by changing the style, changing the vocabulary changing the dress. That didn't work too well. Now they changed the message because that message still isn't cool to the world. So they don't talk about sin because that's not cool. And of course, if there's no talking about sin, then there's no talking about repentance. And that's why that's never mentioned anymore. And if you're not going to talk about sin and you're not going to talk about repentance, then there's no point in talking about hell. And so they never mention that either. No, no talk about the need to repent. No talk about the threat of hell. No talk about the cross of Jesus Christ saving depraved humans whose only hope was for the Son of Man to come to earth and die on the cross and pay for our sins. So when you don't mention those things, you are left with absolutely nothing. You are left with a worldly form of Christianity and churches filled with hell-bound sinners and pastors whose goal it is to keep them coming by providing entertainment. You have churches that are filled with tolerance for everything except the pure word of God. And who's left out? Jesus. For more of God's Word, go to thebibleversebyverse.com and study the whole Bible with me. If you want to send your questions, send them to scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com.